Many people ask me how to accept cryptocurrencies in their store, in their shop, in their business. And the answer is usually very simple. You just install any crypto wallet that you want to use and you just click on receive. It's a peer-to-peer -peer network, so you don't need any third-party service. But I would like to suggest that you can try Breeze as a point of sale terminal because it has a special point of sale mode and I will show you how it works. The downside is that you cannot use this mode with on-chain transactions, which kind of makes sense because most people don't want to pay on-chain for coffee or something not very expensive. Of course, it depends on your business. If you really want, you can just use the receive button, but then you cannot use additional features that I will show you. But in any case, you can use any Lightning, any Bitcoin wallet to just receive cryptocurrency. But let's look at the point of sale mode and how you can use it in your business, especially with Lightning. Open the wallet and click on point of sale. What we can do now is type amount in fiat. I use euros, but you can change it to US dollars or anything else. So let's ask for five euros and 10 cents. I click on charge and there's a QR code for the customer to scan and pay me. So when they do that with their own Lightning wallet, I see the payment. This payment is now confirmed. There is no waiting for confirmations or anything like that. Breeze can open a channel for us if we want. We can also create items. For example, if I'm selling coffee, I can create basic items, espresso for two euros. And I can create these items and then use them later for easy access. So let's also add flat white for three euros. Now I have the items. I can also add another item which is just amount. So now if we look if we add some items to the shopping cart and, and if we click on the shopping cart we can see what's in there there's the item for 510 which i just deleted and there's two espressos and one flat white what i can do is i can add another item one euro 23 cents i can also modify the amount so i can decrease the number of espressos so now i have one of each plus the item and now the customer can again pay me by scanning this qr code and the payment is approved i can also click on the little printer and i can print them the receipt this is probably not a tax receipt, but if the customer wants some payment confirmation, they can get it. All right, let's go back to post settings and we will change one more thing. If you have a device that is uh, somewhere in the cafeteria, maybe you don't want the staff to be able to send money from the wallet. Also, if someone steals the device, you probably don't want them to be able to steal your Bitcoin. So you can set a manager password, which only allows people use the point of sale mode and everything else, including sending Bitcoin, requires the password. So now we have set the password. We can, again, receive one euro 25 cents. Very easy. The customer pays and the stuff can see that the payment went through. They can see the list of transactions, but everything else going to the main screen with balance and sending, even podcasts and all the other options are not available. So the only thing that they can see is transactions, which is useful. And if we want to go to the main screen, we need to type the password. And if we do, 
manager or the owner can, for example, send the Bitcoin to a hardware wallet, to a BTC address or something like that. Learn more in my online course about the Lightning Network at hackyourself.eu slash lightning. Thank you for watching.